Okay, we are here at Club Molsani. We have Brian and James versus Bruno and Claudio in this Sunday championship bracket. This is an elimination game coming out of the loser's bracket right now. That's, yeah, let's do that. Thank you. Oh, cool. All right. Um, as we start the game, Bruno coming down the court. Checking what the point is. He wants Claudio to point this. We are going through the final bracket on Sunday to figure out who will claim the title. Claudio's ball, a little hot. Touches the Pauline. But for everybody tuning in here. These two teams had lost a previous match earlier in the day. So now they are battling their way through the loser's bracket to see if they can get to the top spot in the tournament. James shoots, hits the Pauline, it ricochets. The Pauline had bounced. Okay, here comes Brian for a point. that front ball. Oh. Oh, ricochet. Didn't go his way. So Bruno and Claudio have the point. Here comes Bruno and Claudio coming in for two now. Here comes Bruno's roll. Got the distance. And it's going to be good. Bruno now throwing his second ball. Trying to get three in the frame. Doesn't like it. But here it comes. Might be too much speed. No, it's good. Good ball by Bruno. Capitalizing. And getting three in the frame. Whoa, he's happy about that one. Well, I didn't. I wanted to come off one. It went right. And I was like, oh, man, don't hit your ball. All right, Claudio's first ball rolls. Rolls long, so Brian rolls on it. Claudio for his point. Leon, Leon. It looks a little strong.
Bruno with the good ball. James shoots. Oh, didn't clip out the ball he wanted to. James fires. Bang! He gets it out. Comes Bruno for a hit. Hmm. He's pointing. Great ball by Bruno. Brian shoots. Bang! Hits it. Gets it out. One point for James and Brian. Great ball by Brian to start the frame. Oh. Okay, here comes Bruno for a shot. Shoots. Oh, misses to the right. Shoots. Ooh, gets to Pauline. Get the Pauline down. Here comes Brian for a point. Gonna be no good. You want to shoot that ball? Okay, I mean, if my ball was straight, it'd be a point. Here comes a James for his own point.
B O Touch the back wall. James a little strong on that one. Here comes James again for his point. and James are out of balls. Bruno's oh, ball back here, here is the point. Claudio's got two balls. All right, here comes Claudio. He's got two balls to throw. They have one point right now. He's elected to come down the middle of the court. He's got the straight line. He holds his speed and he will. Claudio gets the point there. Ooh, and Claudio's second point, something he does not like, was well short. But they'll get two out of it and tie this at three. Or extend their lead to five to one. Claudio's first ball is well short. Prime with a good ball. Start the frame over Claudio's ball. Bruno shoots, gets it. Ryan rolls. Claudio's point, a little strong, just gets passed. Comes Bruno's point. Thank you. But bumps into Claudio's ball. Bumps him up for the point. series of events. James hit that front ball. That ball went on to hit the Polino. And the Polino ricocheted around. James going for his corner ball. Gets it. Brings over how many? One? Two. Brings over two. 
looks like to be a three total. So James has hit that front ball, was aiming for the point ball though, and it went off and ricocheted, hit the Polino. Polino scrambles around, goes to the back left corner. They had one point, and then James fires to the right corner and brings over his other ball and comes in for three. So five to four, Claudio, Bruno and Claudio's lead. Alessio was struggling over here. He fell out of the chair. He was shocked by that shot by James. Yeah, for the school board. So the start of the next frame, Ryan throws his ball and Claudio is short. Here comes Claudio's ball. His rolls off the wall. So Claudio's ball is no good. And hanging on the wall right now. As he's down the court, rocking his polo today with a toothpick. <laughs> yeah, I got that shot. Claudio, what do you think about James's shot last frame? Sucks. <laughs> he's not happy about it. As you see, his, his uh, toothpick is in his right ear. <laughs> as he's rocking the polo and jeans today. Are those vans he's wearing? <laughs> or are they Sperry's? I think Claudio's rocking the Sperry's. So Bruno's ball is no good also. So they are trying to figure out what they want to do. Is they're going to throw their fourth and final ball of this frame and leave James and Brian with three balls in the back. Okay, we'll see what Bruno could do here. He rolls. It is hot. Here comes Brian now for his point. They have one right now. Brian looking to capture two. And James has both his balls. And he can roll in to make it a four point inning. We'll see what happens here. Comes off the wall. Rolling. It is going to be short of that ball. But something he could play off, though. Maybe we'll try to roll on it, try to bump that in. Brian trying to show him the line. And here he comes with his final ball. Right now they got two. James looking to capture more. And it could. Oh, he bumped it. He got the bump. Is it enough, though? Brian looking, checking it out. As they stagger around, only two on the frame. <laughs> so Brian and James, an opportunity to get a four points, only capture two on it, take their lead of the take the lead of the game, six to five. 
you should be up one. Oh, so yeah, six, five. I got I got six five. Yeah. So we get a backup score over here too. Here comes Bruno for a shot. Fires. Bang! You got it! Woo! for a point. Shoots, and misses left. Opens it up. And Claudio and Bruno look like to have at least three. Big inning there. A four pointer. Great shot by Bruno. Now pushes their lead nine to six. Shoots, hits, and ricochets the Pauline and Claudio's ball. The James ball comes in for the point. Play like up here for point. Unless you come to the right of my ball. You're dressed perfect. Let me go scaffold working. You don't have to kill it though. You're short, you're short. Come on, be right about here. All the way down. Claudio for a point. He's rolling. Too hard to the back. they want to do.
comes Bruno. He's gonna try to shoot this. Fires. Hits it. Great shot by Bruno. Look at that shot right there. Puts a ball down. As Brian comes in now to roll. James's ball rolling in. <laughs> this could hit the Pauline. It does. Great roll by James right there. Rolls to the back wall. Claudio is stunned. <laughs> Wow, what an incredible shot. By, oh, look at that right there. Hit James's ball, pushed it out. You have to Pauline to move over enough onto his ball. I think you got to shoot here. That ball will go over and it can come in. Yeah. Go over because you got this ball and this ball. James shooting their ball. Let's see if he can bring something in. It's a bomb. No, not enough to bring it over. So two points by Claudio and Bruno. If they extend the lead 11 and 6. Claudio, James is going to shoot now. James shoots. Missed to the left. Ryan shoots. roll right on top of Claudio's ball. So Brian and James elect to put a ball further back for the strategy of Bruno potentially trying to hit hit their ball and, and the Pauline go to the back wall and then getting three or possibly four. 
So they laid the ball in front. I mean, you're going to have to take a swing at this. With three balls, Bruno's trying to figure out where to hit, though. So that's where the that's where the precision and the accuracy of a bocce shooter comes in. Where do I hit this ball? Where do we want the Polina to go? What side of the court do we prefer? These are the questions that Claudio and Bruno are trying to figure out right now. And both of them can shoot. Bruno's been shooting all weekend, but Claudio can fire one up at any time. I just want to remind everybody that these two teams are in the loser bracket of this Sunday championship bracket. They are trying to fight their way through the loser's bracket as they each have a loss today. Uh, both of them came out of their flights as we did four flights. We did a Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday evening. And 16 in each flight took four, top the top four of them. Uh, everyone came back with a clean slate, so it didn't matter if you lost one game in your flight, you came back clean. And they had redrawn the bracket this morning, and it's a double elimination all day today. As we head into deeper and deeper into the Sunday and deeper and deeper into the bracket. But all 16 teams that came back today received a prize. Um, <laughs> Claudio saying, go for it. Claudio with the New York Knicks polo saying, I don't like the Knicks. <laughs> you don't like the Knicks? Bruno shoots. It's the Pauline. So his ball goes with the Pauline. They have one right now. I'm guessing uh, Claudio will be through the point right now, rocking the New York Knicks polo. Probably found a great deal online for the polo. That's why he's wearing it today. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Is that in? So Bruno and Claudio have two right now. They don't, that ball is short? That ball is short. Okay, so Claudio's ball was short. I'm trying to see. So Claudio wants to go for his own point. They have 11 right now. They need three for the win as the game goes to 14. good. It will come in for a point. But it's only two. So they push their lead 13 to 6. James and Brian survived that frame. Even though they missed, each one missed one shot. They got out of there with only two and they're still alive. Now we are a match point as Claudio and Bruno try to 
finish out this game and advance the next round. Bruno and Claudio. Claudio throws his first ball, it's gonna be long. We'll see what Brian do here as they try to keep this game going. They want a shot at advancing. And a okay ball by Brian, his is a little bit long. So we're gonna have Claudio point again. Claudio's ball coming in nice. It's gonna hold. It will. James shoots. All right, we'll, we'll figure it out. I didn't know how far along the bracket we are. In the, okay. So the, this is to go to the championship. That's when we'll be. Okay. Maybe we should move that one. Okay, Bruno. Rolling in, James kind of shot and broke it all up. And Bruno with a nice roll. And it's a hit. Paulino moves. And James gets it. Big hit by James right there. Look at him. In the zone. <laughs> well, Brian now, or Bruno, sorry, was pointing right now because they have two. So he's trying to put this on, put the pressure on Brian, and he does. Bruno with a great roll. Next to Baleen. All right, Brian for the shot. Stay alive. Fires. Misses. And that's the game. Bruno and Claudio win 14 to six. And they advance, eliminating James and Brian. Great run, Brian and James. As they got to Sunday. Winding down the bracket. We're going to try to get the updated bracket for you guys. But I was told by Kepa Greco that they're going to have the winners. It sounds like there's six teams, six teams left, I believe, because they're going to have three games go off. Yeah. I think we're going to move the camera over to Vandra because that's going to be the winner's match to go to the championship while the middle court and the first court are going to have the two losers bracket going. But we will try to capture the game to go to the championship for you guys, and we'll try to move this camera over. We're gonna try to figure this out. <laughs> Not too much uh, real estate. I'm waiting for an updated bracket right now. I will go ahead, when I get it, I will put it in the Molsani Facebook and let you guys know and you guys can see and check it out. 
So I feel if I put it in the comments, then no one's going to see it. Uh, so I'm going to log off, and then we'll try to move this camera over and get ready for the next match to go to the championship. I believe it is Leo and Miles versus Kevin Greco and Gianni. I believe it's them. All right, we'll see you guys soon. I'll, I'll be logging on back on soon. Thank you.